Good afternoon. The election appears to be over. Yeah, they're still counting votes, but it appears that Joseph Biden, age 77, from Delaware, former vice president, former senator, former congressman from Delaware, will be the 46th president of the United States. Hey, it's really weird. But as we saw, the polls lied to us again. The polls said he was up by 8 to 10 points. He's up by maybe 1.5 to 2%. And that's, that's really awful. These guys, this, the polls got it wrong again. Trump's supporters really came out at the end, but it wasn't enough, it appears. So what's happening now is that the president's going to multiple lawsuits around the, around the country and all these different states trying to stop the vote, saying there's no transparency, there's they're voter fraud. Well, you know, it's easy to say, it's harder to prove. That's the big issue. That's where he has the big problem, proving it. And everything's kind of jumped the gun a little bit because they're still counting. He wants to stop the vote because it's not transparent. You know, I don't think any court's going to stop the vote. We should count all votes, and then you can go back and cry about it, whatever you have to do. It is what it is, you know. And Joe Biden, what's his plan for America? No one really knows. No one really knows. See, with the Republicans controlling the Senate, he's kind of landlocked. He can't really do much. If the, if the Democrats control the House and the Senate and the presidency, we'd be in a whole lot of hurt. But since the Senate is controlled by the Republicans, it kind of offsets each other. So for Biden to get anything done, he has to go, go through the House, then it comes to the Senate. So he has to negotiate with the Senate to get anything through. And you know they're not going to raise taxes. Mitch McConnell's not going to raise taxes. You know that's going to happen. Democrats spent a whole lot of money trying to get rid of these Republicans, like Lindsey Graham and Mitch McConnell. They spent a hundred million in South Carolina on the Senate race to get rid of Lindsey Graham, and he won by like five points. Michael Bloomberg spent a hundred million in Florida. And Trump won by three points. So we waste a lot of money. It could have been gone to help families that are struggling because of the coronavirus, but we waste money on you know elections. But what's Biden's plan for the future? We don't know. We don't know much about Biden because Biden doesn't tell you much. You know, that's the problem. We don't know. Okay, he talks about new coronavirus thing, wearing masks, that's gonna be probably be the thing. But he's gonna try and do a lot of stuff through executive order, but he can't flip taxes. He wants to flip the Trump taxes. Well, it's very difficult because the, the Trump taxes are a law, okay? And that's the hard part. He has to, you know, it's the law. And getting it, Getting the House and the Senate to agree that you know to raise taxes, it's very hard. It's going to be very hard. So he's going to have to do a lot of executive orders, but the executive order you need money, and you get money from Congress. It goes to the, it goes to the House, and then it goes to the Senate, then it goes to the President to sign, and that's going to be very difficult because Republicans are not going to give an inch. It's going to be a battle the whole time, and that's what like Wall Street lights because Wall Street went crazy the last two days. And especially now they figure that if Biden wins, he's going to be nullified by the Republicans in the Senate. So if taxes won't go up, economy won't get screwed, we aren't going to have all this excessive spending on all these pet projects by the left, Bernie Sanders and AOC and all these other people and Elizabeth Warren. It doesn't happen. Will we get a few stuff he'll try to do? Yeah, there's no doubt about it. Will there be a lot of lawsuits by uh, people? Of course there is. Just like there was with, every time Trump did an executive order, there was lawsuits. So what lies ahead for Biden? Well, he's going to put together his cabinet. Who's going to be in his cabinet? He said he wasn't going to use any senators because he didn't want to affect the outcome. So who's going to do it? It's going to be a lot of leftover people, the names you've heard before from the Obama administration, and a few of the young, you know, young little uh, up-and-comers. Will AOC make it? No. I don't see her being a part of his administration. He'll be better off just staying in uh, New York. But who, who's it going to be? We don't know. Who's going to be the Attorney General? Susan Rice, maybe? Uh, you know, Sally Yates? Who knows? You know, who's going to be the Treasury Secretary? Who knows? Probably it's, going to be, it's going to be names you know. You know, Larry Summers probably again. You know, people that you already heard of. So you got to remember, Biden is 77. He's old school. Okay, he's old school Democrat. The Democrats have a new awakening coming. It's going to be a big problem, a big war in, in the Democratic Party. Even though Biden w wins the election, that wing, the left wing of the Democratic Party is going to be in a battle. You know, because all... You know Biden can only go four years. He's not going to go for a re-election. By the time he goes for a re-election, he'll be in his early 80s. And who knows how it progresses from here. It's really hard to see. You know, there could be a 25th Amendment pulled on 
you know, our President Joseph Biden, because you see all the gaps he does. He has issues. There's no doubt he's a tired old man. And uh, we don't need a tired old man around the country. you got to have some vigor in your blood, but we'll see what happens. So anytime they can pull the 25th Amendment and make uh, Vice President Harris, God, Vice President Kamala Harris president. God forbid, Joe, please have a healthy time while you're president. I know you're saying, oh, you're giving up. Well, the numbers don't lie. The numbers don't lie. Hey, if you like my videos, please subscribe. Please. They don't lie. The numbers don't lie. It's really impossible. If Biden gets one more state like Nevada, it's over. Because Trump has to win all the other states. He has to win Pennsylvania. He has to win North Carolina. He has to win Georgia. He's got to win Michigan. And if Biden wins any of Nevada and or Michigan, it's over. It's over. There's no way Trump can win. Nothing has been certified yet. Trump's not going to back off and uh, receipt. But it comes a point where he has to just let it go. You can't keep dragging the country through it. You know, there's a point where you have to stop and say, "Enough is enough." You're just dragging the country through this. Biden wins. There's no way you're going to catch him. You give up. You're one-term president. You say hello, goodbye, and you go back down, go down to Mar-a-Lago in Florida, where you moved to from out of New York. You just, that's what you gotta do. He's pissed. He had a good fight at the end, there's no doubt about it. And, but it was too late. If there was not coronavirus, Trump would have easily won re-election. Coronavirus was the determining factor on why President Trump will not be re-elected. And Joseph Biden. Joseph Biden as president. I don't know. It is what it is. There's nothing I can do about it. Nothing you can do about it. It is what it is. If you like Biden or if you like Trump or you hate either one of them, it is what it is. And you know what's going to change? Nothing much. I'm going to pay taxes. You're going to pay taxes. That's life. That doesn't change. That continues every day. Will the economy move around? The economy could be okay. Because, you know, you remember, the good and the bad balance itself out. The economy is coming back. But we can't go to a lockdown. If Biden locks down the country in January or, or puts all these other regulations on about COVID to slow the economy down, that could be a problem. We have to fix the economy. Will there be, you know, more money coming to people? Yeah, there's going to be more money coming, probably by the end of the year. We're, you know, we're in November, so you, you can predict something's going to happen. Will Trump continue the fight? Absolutely. It's going to be a fight the whole time. Trump's not going to give up at all. That's the problem. There comes a point, I understand his thing, you're gonna do a little fighting, I get it. Do your little fighting. But it comes a point where you just gotta stop and just let it go. And re, you know, wish Joe Biden the best and you go live your life. That's all you can do. So folks, I predict Joe Biden wins 100%. There's no way mathematically Trump can win. It's really weird. I've never seen an election like this. The polls show Biden ahead by 10 points and they're like this. So there's no, Biden doesn't win by, you know, landslide and it hurts. He can't get anything done now. He can't get done. He's landlocked and it's gonna be interesting four years or however long he lasts. Be good folks, I'll see you.